Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing good out there. I just wanted to make a quick video to kind of discuss an issue about <clears throat> a prevalent belief out there among Christendom. Okay, it's the belief that uh, that even though you're saved, you still have a wicked heart. Okay, it's that even though you're saved, your heart is disgusting still. And that somehow in this Christian life, what you are, your job to do now is to try to clean up your heart a little bit every day. And people think it's humble to walk around and say that they have a dirty, wicked, disgusting, filthy heart. And they're just a filthy worm. Okay, well, that's not, you know, I used to think it was humble to say that. I used to think it's very humble to go around and tell everybody how wicked of a heart I have, even though I'm supposed to be saved. Okay, and I always used the excuse, it's my wicked heart, as an excuse for my sin. Okay, I'd always say, well, that's just the way it is. I have a wicked heart, and that's never going to change until I die and go to heaven. So, you know, on the sin issue of my life, habits, things like that vices in my life, you know, the wicked heart was kind of a way to make excuses for that, okay, and it kind of got me in, uh, kind of like, kept me in a cage in my life to where and I couldn't escape things in my life that were taking over my life and had been beating me up spiritually forever, okay, sins and things, and it always stopped it. Well, see, before I understood grace, I tried as hard as I could not to sin. Okay, then I started understanding grace about five years ago, six years ago maybe. And, but I started getting, I guess, teaching that's not 100% right. I was teaching that I still have a wicked heart. So when I would sin and things would, you know, when I would repetitively struggle with things, I would just, at the end of the day, well, that's just the way it is. I got a wicked heart. There's nothing I can do about it. You know, but you know, in a sense, yeah, work. I'm not saying that a person can claim perfection in the flesh on this earth. No, nobody can do that. You're always going to sin in this flesh as long as you have this sin parasite in the flesh. But saying I had gone around saying you have a wicked heart even though you're saved, that's not that's not 100% accurate, okay? Because the Bible talks about when we are saved, we are born again. Okay, uh, I don't have my Bible with me. I'm driving down the road right now, but there is a scripture in the New Testament that talks about the new heart, and even in the Old Testament. Okay, foreshadowing of the future, talking about a new heart. I will give you a heart of flesh that's not of stone. I will remove the heart of stone, or whatever. It says something to that uh, extent. All right, and I'll give you a new heart. Okay, and, and even the New Testament talks about Christians being obedient from the heart. Okay, now if you had a wicked heart, how could you be how could you be obedient from a wicked heart? You could not be obedient from a totally wicked, depraved heart. Okay, that totally wicked, depraved heart was taken out of you, surgically removed, the moment that you believed in Christ. Okay, the moment you believed in Christ, that wicked, disgusting heart was removed. And now, and replaced in you a born again new heart that desires to obey God. That okay, that loves God. Okay, that is obedient. Okay, that craves, desires the things of God, and does not desire the things of sin. Does not desire the things of the world. Okay. Now, all that aside. The biggest, the big question comes up. Okay, then why do we still sin? Okay, why do we, why do we still sin if uh, we have a new obedient heart that okay doesn't want to sin? Well, it's because we still have the sin parasite in this flesh. Okay, and we still have a free will to choose sin or to not choose sin. But when you choose sin, that's not your new born again heart choosing that sin. Okay, because your new born again heart does not agree with that sin. All right. That's you making a dumb decision based upon your past experience of when you used to be an unsaved person. Okay? Now when you get saved, see, God does not remove your free will. Okay? 
when you get saved, you still have the free will to choose sin or to not choose sin. I mean, just think way back from the beginning in Genesis. Did did Adam have a wicked heart in the in the uh, <clears throat> garden? No, he did not. Okay, and he still chose. Okay, part of the reason, you know, why, well, Adam chose to eat the fruit too because Eve was condemned, and I believe his great love for her, he wanted to go down with her, and that's the shadow of Christ, what Christ did for us. Everybody knows that, you know, because of what we did, the Lord took our place, you know, died for us. Adam is like a shadow of that, you know, seeing Eve eating the fruit, and he, whatever God had to do to Eve, well, he was thinking in his mind, well, you're, God, you're going to have to do that to me too, you know, so that's the shadow of Christ. But anyways, getting off of that, what I was getting at is the heart issue, okay, why do we still sin if we have a new heart? Well, it's because we still have a free will, and we still have the sin parasite in our bodies, okay, all right, that is not part of our heart, it's... It's a force inside of the, our flesh, okay? It's not the flesh itself. It's it's a, it's an evil force inside of our body. And like the best way I can describe it, okay, and I've heard it described is as a parasite, you know, something working against us, okay? So another proof of this is if you're a born-again child of God and you do, when you do sin, okay? Well, see, there's a lot of sins that we have that we don't even, you know... Sometimes we don't we don't even know. There's sins we don't even know we have. Okay, okay, and you know that's just part of being human. You don't see some sins you have or not. But I believe that the Lord can start to reveal to you more and more. Okay, throughout your life and everything. But about the reason why many people are so stuck in ways and thinking is they get this teaching that says you have a wicked heart and that's always going to be the way it's going to be until you die and go to heaven well the bible doesn't teach that i used to think that the bible taught that okay i used to think that uh the reason we still sin after we're saved is because we still have a wicked heart no we don't it's the sin in the flesh that we can choose to sin or not to sin Okay, and when you just think about it, what I was getting on a while ago, I kind of forgot. Sometimes I get, I forget. When you choose to sin, if you're born again child of God, your heart is not going to agree with that. Your flesh is going to like it, your heart's not. Okay, that's what I've shown in a few of my recent videos. Okay, your heart does not agree with that. Okay, it screams out against that. And that's part of the chastisement, I believe, you know, that's part of, you know, that's showing you're born again the new man the new you inside is that deep deep down your deepest desire is not to sin and and sin but the sin still deceives us okay and makes us think we want it but when we do get it okay we we realize it's just death that's all it is is death okay but it still tricks us into choosing it but that's the reason a person still sins, because they have a free will, okay? But thank God that Christ died for all our sins, okay? Because if He didn't, we'd all be condemned to hell. But that's it for this video, everybody. Um, you do not have a wicked heart if you're a born-again believer. I don't care what anybody tells you. Yeah, there are scriptures for wicked heart, but that's back in the Old Testament. Okay, that's before the Holy Spirit came to reside in you forever. That's before a person became a new creation in Christ. Okay, that's not in the New Testament. You will not see, you will see some scripture in the New Testament that talks with a certain, in a certain way that some people take as saying that you still have a wicked heart, but that's not what it's saying. Uh, but yeah, the main scripture people go to to say, yes, you still have a wicked heart is Isaiah, I think. Okay. Uh, talking about the depraved wicked heart. But see, that's that's not New Testament. Okay, that's not new creation. Okay, that's talking about man before they're regenerated. And then after you regenerated, you have a new heart that is you become obedient from it. Okay? It's an obedient heart to God. And the only way it can be fulfilled is the things of God, God's Spirit. Okay, and when you do sin, it does not agree with that, and it grieves you. Okay, but God bless everybody. 
we have become obedient from the heart because we are children of God. We do not have wicked hearts anymore. We have a free will that we can choose to sin. We don't have to sin, but when we do, Christ has already taken care of that. Okay? So, people out there, don't beat yourself up. There is a way out. Okay? Of every temptation, there's a way out. Of every every cycle, vicious cycle of uh, addiction that anybody's struggling with, okay? The number one thing is to realize that you do not have to go through with this. Okay, our flesh makes us want, the sin in our flesh makes us want to feel like we have to do it. Okay? But there's an awesome thing that you can think, well, is this going to produce life or is this going to produce death? Okay? We get so caught up in the moment sometimes when the enemy sends thoughts and sends things in our lives, okay, that temptations that makes us want to go the wrong way okay because that affects our flesh and the enemy knows it and it gets you all jumbled up okay and for lack of better term and it just attack 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 volumes of attack okay but that's when you need to stop and realize that nobody is you feel like you're forced into something but you're not okay that's just the enemy sending fiery darts Okay, you just always have to remember that Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Okay? And that there is no condemnation to those that are in Christ. Okay? And God bless everybody. And everybody have an awesome day. Alright? We have not, do not, if you're born again, you do not have a wicked heart. God has removed that. And He's gave you a heart of flesh. He gave you a heart that you become obedient from. Okay? God bless everybody.